heart is longing for them day by day. Where I spent the golden hours in the hill of Shadowdon, in the green fields of Virginia, far away. Okay, that's good. Good. All right, that's well. All right, that's the sound check, cause so we can get the show started. Okay. okay? Yes. All right, so. How much did you enjoy your supper tonight? Give the kitchen a big hand. That's pathetic. Give the kitchen a big hand. One of the best suppers ever. Best suppers ever. Um, we miss all the girls from the kitchen and everything, but Linda and I, we stuck with you while the rest of them went to the Appalachian Fairgrounds for the Appalachian Fair to start. And... Uh, then um, they will be back next Monday, and I know you will really enjoy your supper. So that's a good one. I'd like to invite Mr. Earl Rose to the front. Please give Earl a great big hand. Thank you, Marla. I appreciate it. I've got a couple of sketches. Wait, I wait, wait. I was sure. cooking when you drew this. <laughs> wait. <laughs> this is one we've done on the last TV show. Um, probably the next show we're going to color it in a little bit. And uh, as you can tell, this is a, uh, actually just a total, completely finished sketch with the pen and ink and charcoal. These are Earl's pieces that he's working on now. This one was worked on on the TV show. It was, and we're going back this coming Wednesday and paint this in. And tell everybody when they can watch that TV show. Gosh, I don't know. <laughs> someday. Yeah, yeah someday. Only One day what we're going to do is just put our screen up like we did for the other show, and we're just going to watch them all right here. Go to YouTube. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah. Look, Earl yeah. Rose Art. Yeah. Earl YouTube. Rose Art on YouTube. Yeah. Give Earl a great big hand for his newest yeah. work. Went to the next show. Okay. Earl and the Ramblin' Rose will be playing Friday night at the Elks Lodge, and he invites all of you to go. The show starts at... 7.30. The show starts at 6.30. And uh, admission is... Admission is all they can get. So, all right. The next question we always ask is, who is here for the first time? Who of you are here for the first time? Oh, cool. Cool. And who, how many of you are here for the last time? That's good. 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 The same people promise every week. Ma'am, you had a question? Now that's Thursday. That's the Elks Club's in Elizabethan. Oh, uh, the Elks Club we're talking about is in Elizabethan, Tennessee. And uh, Butter and Biscuits, it'll be at the Elks Club in Weaver Pike. <laughs> Next week, we'll try to have all the Elks Club schedules so there's no confusion in all 52 states. We'll get that gathered up for you and post that. All right, we're going to see who traveled the farthest. How many of you traveled more than 5.8 miles? Woohoo! How many of you traveled 58 miles or more? More than 58 miles. Oh, oh we still got some in the game. How many of you travel more than 580 miles? Oh, oh. so sorry, folks. Still good. <laughs> These folks got lost, and they made it. <laughs> Stand up and give us your names and tell us who you're with, why you're here. Big old loud name. Tom and Chris Gibson. Tom and Chris Gibson are here from Florida. 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 Mooching off of Jim and Claire. You notice they brought you on the cheap night. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Last week's supper was $39.95. We had prime rib, all juice. It was, it was delicious. 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 We appreciate you being here. There's really no prize except for uh, here in a minute. We're going to have a little something for you. So. Yeah, well, that's what broke us. That's, that's what broke us. That's it. Has anybody in particular got a birthday that was anywhere near here, like within a day? Like anybody that's had a birthday within a day or two, two days? All right. 
We'll just bring him on up to the front ourselves. We know who it is, and we're going to be singing here in a minute with feeling. But in the meantime, I'm going to get the cake. We're going to knock all this out so you can play. All right, it goes like this. Don't let me get right NASCAR cake. We appreciate all you do. And while I hold the cake, you open your card. It's oh, right there, right over there. Here's the cake, sir. There's the cake. Cool looking cake. All right. Read it out loud with feeling. <laughs> if I can. Yes. I Look at all of those. Oh, my <laughs> it's football time. Chip time. Is that the chair, too? Okay, there must be a story okay. there. Okay. I mean, I hope your uh, celebration was, what was it? I hope your celebration goes way yeah. into overtime, or as we say, <laughs> a, a white checker finish. <laughs> Give old Jim a great big hand. Yeah. Uh, uh, let me tell the story. I gave this card to a couple back there from Florida. And I told them that it was for the bottle washer. And they looked at me real funny, and I said, you know, you've heard the story, chief cook and bottle washer. He is not the chief cook. He's the bottle So they gave him a tip. <laughs> Wasn't that nice? <laughs> Stay right there. Okay, as many of you know, Jim, I'm just going to move on to this myself. We always celebrate veterans, so I want veterans, I want you to give a big proud hand up into the air so that we can cheer you with emotion. Everybody give our veterans a big cheer. Yeah. Big yeah. Woo -woo. Yeah. Yeah. Woo -woo. Jim and all of you guys up on here, Bill, we are um, so pleased and so thankful for what you've done. I got more emotional yesterday morning. Part of it was that I'd worked 94 hours and was trying to get a little bit of sleep, but I got the Sunday paper, and this was in the Sunday paper, and I just want to read it to you. How many of you know the comic strip Nancy uh, in the funny papers? This is what Sunday morning's comic strip said, and I was trying to plan Jim's little birthday. He doesn't need gifts. He won the duck race right. at the track. All of us who drive golf carts put a number on the bottom of a duck and threw it in the creek up at the Red Bridge, or a yellow, yellow bridge and chased it down to the red bridge and the first one out was Jim's. So he won all of Sunday's <laughs> So Jim won that and uh, I want to tell you what Sunday's paper in the Nancy um, this means everything to me and I'll probably get a little bit emotional but it has pictures of all the children of all age of all um, color and it says Teach your children well. If I can dream of a better land where all my brothers walk hand in hand, come on people, smile on your brother. Love is all you need. This message brought to you by we of the 1960s and 1970s when we and our artists stood by the idea that love could change the world and we still think so today. So that's the cartoon that was in there. And Jim, in your honor, we're going to give you the first one of those. 
and we're going to ask you to hand everybody here one today. If you're couples, please just take one until we make sure that we have enough, but we made one on your behalf for everybody here, so I'll take the band up here, and you uh, keep rolling with that. Give Jim a great big hand and wish him a happy birthday. Alrighty, are you ready for some great music? Yeah. Anybody got any other stories we need to hit real quick? I'm going to tell you more about the racing later, but you are in for a great treat with this band. What are we really calling the band? Don't call the friends. That's what I put on. That's right. So what happened was um, we're going to have some a uh, little bit of music and sing along, and and I know there's some talent out in this audience, but to kick it all off, we're going to get them started right now. Jim, if you're okay, I'm going to go ahead and announce here on the Old Southern Porch, please give a great big warm welcome to Bill McCall and Friends. In the green fields of Virginia, in the Vale of Shadow there's an ivy-covered home seat that I love. With its white old-fashioned chimney and its peaceful home like ours, it's the home of my dear parents now above. There's a peaceful cottage there, a happy home so dear, my heart is longing for them day by day. Where I spent my golden hours in the Vale of Shadowdon, in the green fields of Virginia far away. Mid the green fields of Virginia stands an old mill by a stream, and I've wandered to that spot to sing and play. And how often I have thrown a stone into the bubbling brook, and would dream someday would carry me away. There's a peaceful cottage there, happy home so dear, my heart is longing for them day by day. Where I spent my golden hours in the Vale of Shadow, in the green fields of Virginia, far away. There's a peaceful cottage there. Happy home so dear, my heart is longing for them day by day. Where I spent my golden hours in the Vale of Shadowdon, in the green fields of Virginia far away. In the green fields of Virginia far away. Now 
Now I'll, I'll take a train, I might take a plane, but if I had to walk, I'm gonna get there just the same. Going to Kansas City, Kansas City, here I come. Got some crazy little women, and I'm gonna get me one.
storm and its fury broke today, crushing hopes that we cherish so dear. Wild and storms will in time pass away. The sun again will shine bright and clear. Keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side. Keep on the sunny side alive. It will help us every day. It will brighten all our way. If we'll keep on the sunny side alive. If we'll keep on the sunny side alive. I was done with the dishes, so I thought I could. Uh, you I have know, the cooking done. In, back in World War II, a lot of our fellows went across the waters to fight. Some of them fell in love with girls over there, and some married them, brought them back. Some was already married, that would complicate things. <laughs> but you know, they never forgot them. Far across the deep blue water lived an old German's daughter by the banks of the old river Rhine. There I loved her and left her. I can't forget her. I can't forget my pretty stars above you I swear that I love you I can't forget my pretty Frau I'll give him a big hand the best couple on the floor When my memories wander away over yonder To the sweetheart that I left behind In a moment of glory, her face shines before me The face of my pretty Fraulein Fraulein, Fraulein, walk down by the river Pretend that your hand is holding mine I don't say stars above you I swear that I love you I came to get my pretty Put your sweet lip a little closer to the floor. Let's pretend that we're together all alone. I'll tell the man to turn the deep box way down low. And you can tell your friend that with you he'll have to go. Whisper to me, tell me do you love me true? Or is he holding you the way I do? Though love is blind, make up your mind, I've got to know. Should I hang up or will you tell him you'll have to go? You can't say the words I want to hear while you're with another man. Tell me, darling, answer yes or no. Darling, I will understand. Put your sweet lips a little closer to the floor. Let's pretend that we're together all alone. Tell the man to turn the jukebox way down low, and you can tell your 
friend, I'm with you, he'll have to go.
Uh, thank you kindly. And we've got some good news this coming right now. So don't go away. Stay tuned. I'm thinking that's some good music, don't you? Yeah. in the chicken wings in the kitchen there. So. <laughs> All right, what do you fellas calling yourselves? What's the name of this band? Uh, whatever you want to make it, that matter. We don't, this is just a totally, totally impromptu. It's Jim Gates and T. Monroe. Okay, I'm going to call them two of them. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together and welcome to the Old Southern Porch. Two of them. Yeah. <laughs> All the lucky would be fought for it. I would have been my father's daughter. But it sure turned out to be a short forever. For just once I turned my back and you were. From now on, all my friends are gonna be strangers. I'm all through, never trust you anymore. The only thing I can come on down are my fingers. I was a fool, bleeding and now you are. You 
you all made it. It's Timberoni. Head up things is me. Not going any better than to think I found the love that would be true. Why I should be taken out tar and feather to have a let my son be taken by From now on, all my friends are gonna be strange. I am ever trusting anyone. The only thing I can count on now are my fears. I was a fool believing in you, and now you are gone. I was a fool believing in you, and now you are gone. Thank you so much. This great guitar player here is a dear friend of mine. I first ran into him in the middle 80s in a place in Virginia Beach, Virginia called Nashville East. It was a club there, and he was the, he was the house band. And, uh, boy, I was just absolutely taken by his talent and uh, sat there and talked with him till about daylight. And uh, I tried to get him to adopt me, but he wouldn't do it. I had, I had a lot of strikes against me back in those days. I had troubles with the, uh, the vine and the, the law and uh, <laughs> the IRS. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of those unsavory people, you know. <laughs> but uh, later on when I straightened up, he does allow me to call him Uncle T now. <laughs> but uh, he, uh, he's had quite a storied career in the music industry. Uh, his first professional job, he played doghouse bass for Jimmy Martin. Y'all never heard of him? Oh, yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah, he probably did. And he went on and he's played with uh, behind the, just about a hodgepodge of different people, country entertainers, and knows most of them personally. Uh, one of the most notable ones that he also played for for a couple of years was Little Tater, Jimmy Dickens. He was oh, a lead yeah. guitar player for him for a number of years. And not only does he pick the guitar, he sings a mighty fine song, and I'd like for him to do one that was done by the Blue Sky Boys there that y'all ever remember that one called Why Not Confess. All right, thank you, Jimmy. Uh, I didn't know if he was giving me an introduction or doing a recitation. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was. But, well, that, that, uh, it wasn't that sad. It took a little <laughs> while to get through it, but uh, I appreciate it just the same. It's nice to be up here tonight. I, this is on a CD I had out a couple of years ago. So we're like hotcakes. We should have sold like CDs. I might have made some money. <laughs> It is an old uh, song by uh, the Blue Sky Boys from down in uh, Hickory, North Carolina, down very close to where I come from. It's called Why Not Confess. I am asking of you, little darling, are you tired of the love you possess? In my heart I'm asking in earnest If you don't love me, why not confess? When you're around me, you're always complaining You're trying to beat me, I guess In my heart I'm asking you, darling If you don't love me, why not confess? And forever would be my 
my sweetheart But I can tell by your countless expressions That your love has no place in my heart When you're around me you're always complaining You're trying to beat me I guess In my heart I'm asking in earnest If you don't love me why not confess If you don't love me why not confess Let's turn her on. Thank you. We know you one more, and then we'll let you get on with your show. We sure are enjoying it. And by the way, I, uh, Bill, great job, man. I, how about another nice hand for Mr. Bill McCall? Pretty work. Pretty work. Pretty work. We're really enjoying it. Thank you so much. And uh, like I said, we'll, uh, I can't remember her name. Who wrote the song? Cross the Bad Road. Oh, Lord. Oh, K. Arnold. K. Arnold. I recorded this song uh, not too many years ago, and I put it on one of my CDs, and and I looked up, uh, I, before I put anything on the CD, I always looked it up to uh, try and uh, get the proper credit to the songwriter, you know, to list them. And this particular song that I'm getting ready to tell you about, I picked it up, it said Marty Robbins wrote a song, well, I didn't think much about it, I just put it down. T who is a scholar when it comes to country music, and like I said, he knows most people in the business, and most people know him, and he has an a in-depth knowledge of country music. And he advised me that, uh, he said that that was wrong and Marty Robbins did not write that song. And I said, oh, yeah, well, who did? He said, well, I know her personally. Her name's Kay Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> so luck as luck would have it, uh, we did sell out of that bunch and I ran a new batch off and I got this, when I got the new batch then I got the right artist on there. <laughs> but uh, we're going to do one, it's called Cross the Brazos at Waco. All the old tism trail was behind. Carmella was strong on his mind. Because of the life he had chosen, Carmella had left him behind. For so long he had been El Bandito, Carmella had left him alone. Today someone wrote a message he received in the town. Oh, Cross the Brazos at Waco, ride hard and you'll make it by dawn. Cross the Brazos at Waco, I'll be safe when I reach San Antonio. He glanced back over his shoulder. The posse was nowhere in sight. It sent for Carmella to meet him on the banks of the Brazos that night. She was waiting and he kept his promise. He'd made such a long time ago. As he dropped the guns and he hated to wait in the muddy Brazos. Below. Cross the Brazos at Waco, ride hard, I'll make it by dawn. Cross the Brazos at Waco, I'll be safe when I reach San Antonio. Then the night came alive with gunfire. They knew at last he'd been found. The rangers bashed on bright as the bandit lay on the ground. Our knew he was dying. All of her love was in vain. As she kissed his lips for the very last time she heard. It was through again. Cross the Brazos at Waco. Ride hard and make it by dawn. Cross 
the brazzles at Waco. I'll be safe when I reach San Antonio. I'll be safe when I reach San Antonio. Thank you all so much. We appreciate it. Thank you, Marla. Thank you, Jim. back in my seat. Yeah. <laughs> One more. What you want to do? What do you want to hear? So I said, I'm going to throw that out there. If it's a country song, there's a good chance that one of us will know it. Especially if it's an old country song. Because <laughs> <laughs> we is old. <laughs> sing a song you sing in church Sunday. Sing all three verses. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I didn't sing this past Sunday. <laughs> we, had, we had a guest preacher. We didn't do it much singing. Uh, I tell you what, uh, he always likes me to do this song here. And, uh, it was a Jim Reeves tune. He, he said he says that uh, it's one of his favorites that I do. So he's visiting me up here, by the way. Come see me up here. It was a Jim Reeves tune. I am calling to tell. You, it's over. Yes, darling, we're now free to go. You tell me you're sorry you've hurt me. But you've hurt me much more than you know. You're asking me where this call comes from. Oh, I hope that you won't show up if your new romance turns out of bed. Here's where you'll find my bed. I'm just on the blue side of your sea. Right next to the heartbreak hotel in a tavern that's known as three teardrops on a bar stool not doing too well the floor has a carpet of sorrow but no crying is allowed in the eye and they say someone broke the bar mirror with only the ghost of a smile. The hands on the clock never alter, for there's never a change in the spring. There's no present. No past and no future. We're the ones who lost out in love's race. I'm just on the blue side of the sea. Right next to the heartbreak hotel. In a tavern that's no Three teardrops on a bar stool, not doing too well. Thank y'all so much.